To identify a specimen of Olmus minor, the following features will give you a clue. The semi mature bark is pale grey with little felty brown rivulets running through it, and it's rather corky. And corky wings can often develop on lateral uh, branches of semi mature trees, giving a very distinctive appearance to those lateral twigs, as can be seen here. The flowers emerge early in February, uh, hermaphrodite, and are pale cream turning to brown. And fertilised flowers uh, result in relatively small, uh, pale green to yellowing uh, samaras, born in clusters on lateral twigs, um, with a noticeable uh, reddening, reddening centre where the seed lies. The mature form of Olmus minor is relatively rare now in the UK due to Dutch elm disease, but uh, the semi-mature form is often seen, and this is relatively upright with a number of competing long sprays, resulting in a sort of fountain spray-like appearance to the crown. But a mature tree is quite different in appearance, being relatively tall, reaching heights over 35 metres, um, and being like a set of clouds generally getting broader and wider as they get up uh, often uh, referred to like an Indian smoke signal. The leaves are alternate typically on a brown twig um, and often there's a zigzag between those leaves on the twig. The leaf itself typically ovate, oblique at the base, uh, doubly serrated with a short accumulate tip and rather rough to the touch sandpaper like and the winter buds alternate rounded um, and as I say quite often with a zigzag to the twig and typically relatively uniform set of lateral branches coming off from the winter twig